What's happening guys, it's Cooper Carter here for G66 and in this week's Fractal Friday, I'm showing you guys the number one Fractal feature that you may not be using, but you definitely should be. This past week, someone on the Fractal forum asked about an undo feature for the AxeFX3 FM9 and FM3 editor so that you can undo your changes to any kind of tone that you're shaping. Mainly, they asked why there isn't one. And the response to that is that there technically isn't a feature called undo, but there's something even better, more powerful, and more useful called snapshots. Let's check it out. So for those of you who've been following along, here we are back at last week's Fractal Friday preset, our high gain drive showcase. If you guys haven't seen that video, do make sure to check it out. I had a lot of fun with that one. But let's talk about snapshots. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you may have noticed this little camera button up here in your editor, whichever editor you're on. Right now, I'm on the AxeFX 3, of course, but it'll be the same for the FM9 or the FM3. And if I hit this little camera button, you see that it says exports the current preset to the snapshots folder set in the workspace preferences. Now our workspace preferences are under settings, preferences, workspace, and you can see that snapshots are saving to my user folder and fractal audio axe edit three presets snapshots. You guys can change this to whatever folder you like. This is the default. So all of your snapshots are going to save there. Now what the snapshot has done is created an exact replica of this preset. Every little value that's happening, every change you possibly could conceive of making in a preset at this exact moment. So the first thing that I would do is to create a baseline. I would hit the camera or hit Control Shift Alt S. So I'm a big fan of just kind of resting my hand on Control Shift Alt S. That would be Command Shift Alt S on a Mac. So I'm going to hit that. I've created a snapshot. You will see that I have a snapshot of this preset as it exists right now on February 4th, 2002 at 30 minutes past midnight and 51 seconds, which is when I hit that little button. And now what I'm gonna do is make five different changes. Let's make some random changes. One, two, three, four, five. And now I can make another snapshot and very easily compare the amp block with these settings to the amp block with those settings. So this is much more powerful than just a simple undo and redo command that you would have in another program because I can go and make all of these little changes, do anything I want. For illustration here, let's just rename that scene something incredibly random and now make a snapshot of that. And now instead of having to hit Control Z and remember where exactly I am, I have three distinct versions that I've just created that I can easily jump between. So anytime I make a change that I feel is important to the sound, I just go ahead and hit the keyboard command and I've got a snapshot. And you can make as many of these as you want. So every time you change something, you can make one or every couple of minutes if you have a big substantive change and you want to compare sounds and just AB this makes it very, very easy. Now you may have seen that when I went to the snapshot list before I cleared it, there were a lot of different presets in here. You can also use this to jump between presets. So if I were to make a snapshot of this preset and then load the other one, it'll jump between them and I'm jumping to saved versions of that preset even if I haven't hit the save button here. A snapshot is essentially exporting the preset as it exists at that very second to the snapshots folder. I highly encourage you guys to just incorporate snapshots into your workflow. Again, I rest my left hand on Control Shift Alt S while I'm tweaking a preset and really just kind of hit it every once in a while so that by the end of a tweaking session, I have a pretty exhaustive list of what exactly I've changed and I can jump at a moment's notice to one of those sounds and give it a listen. Now this is so much easier and so much more useful and so much less time consuming than saving different versions of your preset to different preset slots and jumping back and forth between them, remembering to save before you navigate off the preset and all of that. One last thing to keep in mind, when you do restart your editor, you're going to see that your snapshots list is cleared. Snapshots are intended as recall points, so to speak, during a work session. 
and the editor is designed to assume that you've saved a final version of your preset before closing out of the editor. And when you open back up, you want to see a blank slate. Of course, you can again go to show folder and then simply find the snapshot you want and click and drag it onto the preset window, drop it there, and it's loaded. So you do have instant recall of every single snapshot that you have ever made at any given time. It's straightforward, it's bulletproof, and it's right here. So that's the snapshots feature. Super easy, very straightforward, but incredibly powerful and something I turn to every single day when I'm tone chasing. For those of you who didn't know about snapshots or didn't quite know what they were all about, I hope this video was very helpful. And for those of you who've already been using them, I hope there was a trick or two in there that you found useful. But if you guys want to unlock the full depth of your XFX3, FM9, or FM3, make sure to go to classes.coopercarter.com to sign up for my complete Fractal Audio Masterclass series. The FM9 class is coming very soon within the first quarter of this year. For those who've been asking, thank you guys very much for all of the interest. If you would like to get alerts for when the class is coming, make sure to sign up for the newsletter at classes.coopercarter.com. For all things Fractal Audio Systems, keep it right here on G66. Make sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment, let me know how you're using your Fractal units, and I will see you guys next week on Fractal Friday.